Howdy folks, I'm Fiery Fornix, furiously feasting on flammable fibers. I'm Amber. And just remember folks, even if you're fire, you need to get your daily fiber in. Let's get started. Or a furnace. If you're a furnace, you still need to get your daily fiber in. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for attending my ex's wedding without telling my wife? I am a 35-year-old male, and I've been married to my wife, Sarah, a 34-year-old female, for three years. My ex, Alexa, a 32-year-old female, happens to be a close friend of mine. We ended things on good terms when we were in college and agreed to stay friends. Around this time, I met Sarah. I made it clear to her that I would not be cutting off contact with Alexa, even though she insisted that I do so for all my other exes. She dropped the subject, and I just assumed that everything was fine. Well, earlier this year, Alexa invited me to her wedding, and I said yes, thinking that this would be a nice gesture as her friend. The thing is, I didn't tell my wife about it. I knew that she might feel uncomfortable, seeing as she always looks tense or upset when I bring up Alexa, even though neither of us have feelings for each other. I figured that it would be easier just to go and not cause any drama, so I told Sarah that I would be away for a business trip. The wedding itself went very smooth, and I got up with some friends of ours. But when I got home, my wife started yelling at me in tears, accusing me of hiding things from her and questioning my loyalty in our relationship. I told her to calm down and explain what had happened. It turns out that one of my and Sarah's mutual friends posted a picture of me at the reception on Facebook, and she found it. I told her to calm down and that I didn't mean to hurt her feelings, but she wouldn't hear me out. I haven't heard from Sarah since yesterday when she left to stay at her parents' house. Her friends and family have been blowing up my phone calling me a jerk and I don't know what to do. Did I make the right choice by attending the wedding or should I have told my wife about it first? Alright folks, what do you think? Yes, you're the jerk. You absolutely should have told your wife. I understand that she's uncomfortable with the relationship you have with Alexa, and that might be something worth talking about in couples counseling. But if your partner is uncomfortable with something you're doing, sneaking around behind their back is not a way to build trust. Yeah, I think that this is one of the situations where OP had a very poor judgment call. I don't think... I think he really sincerely wanted to avoid hurting his wife, but you, in the process of uh, trying to shield her feelings, you betrayed her trust. And I think that that's a graver sin, if you will, than mm -hmm. what she, when then just being upset about you going. You two could have had an adult conversation about what it would mean for you to go to this wedding, but instead you made the unilateral decision and just hid it from her instead of having a conversation and saying, having a difficult conversation. So you kind of chose the expedient route in order to avoid having a difficult conversation with your wife, which I think is a really bad sign. Right. Well, and was she invited to or was it only OP who was invited? And has the wife even met or interacted with Alexa? It seems like OP talks about her briefly, but if you want someone to ha like trust your relationship with someone else, it can help for them to get to know that person. And it sounds like OP has just been like, I'll just shut this out and do this all on my own, not giving his wife a chance to get to know or form a any sort of relationship with Alexa. Well, I think that that is the important thing here, is that there's a lot of details missing that we just don't have any information about. Like, we don't know how close OP is, uh, how, Sarah, how close Sarah is to this friend. And we don't know whether or not she was invited to the wedding or not. And I think that those are also would be important bits of information here. Like maybe your wife wanted to go to a wedding with you. Maybe she would have enjoyed getting out and having a going to a celebration. Did it mean that you were abandoning her with kids at home? Right. So there's a lot of different factors here where she might not feel like you are pulling your weight or you're lying or all these other things here. And it just it might really kind of spiral at that point in time. Right. Well, it would feel a bit sus to me, too, if, if she wasn't invited, because it sounds like they've been together since college. Yeah. And so if they've been together for like the better part of a decade and Alexa didn't invite OP's wife, that feels kind of sus. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for taking away all of the vegan food from my brother? I am giving us all names from friends. Our friend Phoebe has always been a vegetarian, but has recently cut out all animal byproducts. She is also my roommate. Every time we play D&D, our friends and my brother come over to mine and Phoebe's place. They all have other roommates or just one-bedroom apartments. 
we always decide in the group chat if we are going to bring food. Each will bring something, or if I cook, they will PayPal me. This time, I offered to cook because I felt like it. I made a huge portion of vegan poutine. Making real one would be too tedious, and I just don't like the prepackaged stuff. Anyways, we were all eating, and Phoebe gets super excited because she hasn't had poutine in a little while. I tell her it's her lucky day because it's all vegan if she doesn't add the extra mozzarella. My brother Ross started to get pouty, and then we had a fight because he never agreed to eat vegan. And just because Phoebe is vegan, he doesn't have to be. And he likes his meat, blah blah blah. He made this huge deal about it, even demanding that I give him back his 5 euros. He went off so much that even his girlfriend Rachel told him to calm down, but he said that it was about the principle of the matter, and that he didn't want to eat vegan. He shouldn't be made to eat vegan. The rest of the night, I just kept taking away from him. I had bought some gummy brand that were chewy and happened to be vegan. I took it, stating that he doesn't want to eat vegan stuff. When he went to get some fries, I took the little bowl and said, oh no, they are vegan. Salt nachos? Vegan. The Breslin I had? Vegan. By the end of the night, he called me stuck up and told me that he wouldn't come back to my place until I had apologized and accommodated him. Rachel said that I took this way too far for taking away all the vegan things. Phoebe says that she feels bad for starting this and Chandler and Joey think it's hilarious. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. He's just being ridiculous. It seems like he was perfectly fine with the poutine until he heard it was vegan. And then he went on a tirade about how he shouldn't be subjected to vegan food. So OP was just protecting him from the insidious vegan food that might sneak up on him and uh, get into his diet. Well, the thing that kind of boggles me about his attitude here is that he could have added the cheese and it would have been mm -hmm. non-vegan at that point in time, right? But it doesn't have meat. Yeah. Well, and I think that sometimes people treat meat eating as an identity. And I think that maybe he needs to take a step back and decide if this is an identity that he really needs or wants. And I think, again, we're all raised with certain beliefs and sometimes we can take them a little far. And it's sometimes important for us to sit and reflect on those beliefs to see how they really fit into our lives and whether or not they're controlling us. Because sometimes beliefs like this are can be destructive. They can stop you from actually enjoying life. And I think in this particular case, Joey is just not really see, he's seeing not seeing the forest for the trees, right? He shouldn't be basing his identity on this very narrow idea of what a vegan is, right? Right. Well, the, the word vegan has such a bad rap, but like you were saying, pretty much anything that's fruit or plant or nut base is automatically going to be vegan because they grow out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And so he's just being very uh, rude and he could always bring his own meat dish if it's that important for him. Like how many times do vegans or vegetarians have to bring their own dish? Mm -hmm. Like, so if he really, really wants meat at every meal, there's no reason why he can't bring a little for himself. Yeah, exactly. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Today I Messed Up My Proposal. This morning, I decided to surprise my girlfriend with a proposal in bed. Not the most original or romantic approach, I know. Initially, the plan was to pop the question over dinner last night, but alas, the build-up towards the big moment got the better of me. However, today I woke up determined to do what needed to be done. So there I was, on one knee next to my girlfriend's side of the bed, waiting for her to open her eyes and see me holding the ring. The moment that I attempted to wake her up, she groaned and rolled over, leaving me with nothing to look at but the back of her head. My heart was beating hard enough to hear. I leaned over to my girlfriend and I gently tapped her on the shoulder. Instead of waking up like a normal person, she hissed in her sleep <laughs> like a vampire before elbowing me in the face. I stumbled backwards and I dropped the ring. My girlfriend woke up during the commotion, and the first thing she saw was me bleeding from my nose. I'm not going to lie, she rushed over to comfort me, and I flinched. The hissing thing did scare me, and after all the drama died down, I managed to recover the ring without her noticing. Speaking of recovery, my nose still hurts. Tonight, I try again. This time, I'll make sure to propose Well, my girlfriend is wide awake and still human. <laughs> Too long, didn't read. Attempted to surprise my girlfriend with a proposal in bed, but little did I know, getting her to wake up requires blood. <laughs> Edit. I'm just going to leave an update here for all of the comments requesting an update. She said, yes, my girlfriend is now officially my fiancé. 
Not that anyone really cares about this part, but my nose also stopped hurting. <laughs> All right, folks, what do you think? Well, I'm glad Opie's nose doesn't hurt anymore, and I'm glad she said yes. Yeah, I mean, that sounds sweet. I'm glad that they he has the ability to laugh about this and has a funny story to share. And I'm sure he'll share the story with her as well. So. Yeah, I mean, it does, like, at first, it doesn't sound like a very great proposal, but then, like, if your story involves your girlfriend turning into a hissing vampire, you know, that, that brings it up a level. And It does, it does. Well, let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she has a joke. What do mathematicians use to harvest crops? Well, they use a ruler and they have the ruler go and tell people to harvest their crops. And so that's how mathematicians do it. Delegation. Protractors. Oh, protractors. That makes sense. That would make sense. Very inefficient way of harvesting uh, <laughs> food. But go ahead. Take your protractors out there and harvest some food. And I have Mega Mint. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Spectacular Saturday. We made it to the end of the week. It's the weekend, and I hope you folks are enjoying it so far. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, have it involve honesty. Honesty is generally a better policy than sneaking around behind your back partner's back to try and spare their feelings. Generally, generally. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! Howdy, folks. I'm for... Howdy, folks. I'm Fiery... Fiery... Howdy, folks. I'm Fiery Fornix. Howdy, folks. I'm Fiery Fornix. Fornax. Howdy, folks. I'm Fiery Fornix. Furiously... I keep wanting to say, like, Phoenix. Mmm. Makes sense. <laughs>